US college programs have long been the breeding ground for many of Australia's elite basketballers, with the likes of Luke Longley, Andrew Bogut, Paddy Mills and Lauren Jackson all forging their way through the system before going on to the professional ranks. Currently, around 100 Australian men and women play at the top level, NCAA Division I. But now more athletes from other sports are looking to college as an option, including 19-year-old South Australian Brooke Rishbeth, who's on a full scholarship at the prestigious Northwestern University in Chicago. I still wanted to keep the balance with my schooling, um, you know, obviously continuing with that pathway as well as my tennis. And I, I found that it was difficult in Australia because I'd have to make a choice between the two and they're both very important to me. So, you know, I think uh, the college pathway is just, um, you know, it's really exciting in the sense that um, I don't have to make that choice. Both can be a priority and that's why I'm a student athlete over there because, um, you know, I balance the both of them. While more athletes are looking to go down the college path, it's become a sophisticated system with scouts from the states constantly scouring for talent and multiple agencies working to place athletes at schools. The NCAA is the biggest um, and there's three divisions. Former tennis pro Sandon Stolly is one of those, having started his own company, Aussie Athletes Agency, which manages a large list and tries to recruit other potential student athletes. I felt like there was a big gap um, especially in tennis from a junior sports level uh, into a senior sports level. And, and the U.S. collegiate system and how it works um, is really one of the only systems in the world that um, has such a competitive environment um, to really, I guess, nurture the athlete and also um, it's a system where they get a great education as well. Olympic rower Tess Durand is one of the agents working with Stolly, having had the Ivy League university experience at Yale. All of the athletes that are sort of agents and Sandon himself have all been, um, been to college in the States. So we all know what the experience is like and we all want to uh, pass that sort of knowledge and experience on to some of our athlete friends and, um, and colleagues in the, in the world in Australia to try and get them over there so they can have such a great experience. With college becoming more attractive to many young athletes, there's hope sporting organisations here embrace the value of balancing sport and education. There was a study done, I think, you know, with the UK and also in Australia where they wanted to work out the, the, the athletes that were in a university system, whether it was back in Australia, in the UK or in the US, the number count of medals went up for those athletes that were involved in university sports which was incredible um, research that was done. So to me, governing bodies and sporting bodies, they need to recognize that and they need to, to understand that um, this is a great pathway and, and, and the athletes can develop and be nurtured in this pathway and, and come in and compete on a world stage or compete on a national stage after they finish their universities or even while they're in the university. Using me as an example, you can come back and say make the Australian Olympic team or make the um, underage teams for Australia and then compete in your sport at a higher level once you've graduated. Um, one of the great things for me is that I can always, I have a degree now and I can always fall back on that once my sport's finished. I haven't um, thrown away my education and put that on the back burner while I've been competing. There's not one pathway to become a professional tennis player. You don't have to, you know, at the age of 16 or, uh, or even younger, do homeschool and, and have to sacrifice your education. That's something that I definitely I'm seeking to achieve by this is that, um, you know, to show a lot of people how, um, how exciting really it is and how wonderful um, the opportunity is and, and what college can provide for us. Yeah.